Hello everyone, welcome to our last play series of IC. This is Kernel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today because today we're gonna take on these two camp encampments that are apparently threatening the Eden over there. Uh, and I think this might be where the white people are. People's delegation. I think it might very well be. You walk toward the main tent at the center of the small camp. You see Robert, Jerome's friend, sitting on a chair inside his tent. Look who's here, Jerome, aren't you a little old for this kind of life? First thing, you're too old for this shit too. Second, my companions would get bored without a nice guy like me hanging around. Yeah, maybe we're all too old for that. But when we heard that rumor about the Eden, I remember the old days when we used to travel. Uh, do you do you remember how we tried to find a place where oh, to stay? A place that we could call home? Well, it's hard to ignore some dreams, even for old people like me. And let's be honest, all those young crazy teenagers need our experience to survive more than one day on the White Wasteland. Uh... Uh... Can't I let them go on? Uh, oh, can I interrupt you guys? I I'm, I'm glad you're friends and stuff, but the situation is quite complicated and we should talk about it. You're right, forgive us. Old people tend to lose themselves in silly chats. I don't even know why you are here. Well, you're here because of the Eden, that's for sure, but uh, that's all I can assume. It's a long story. What you need to know is that I have direct contact with the Eden and we're here because its existence is no longer a secret. And that's why we're here too. Rumors spread around the Vale and uh, when we learned that the whole army of mercenaries was directed here, we thought that the rumor could be true. The whole story is complicated, let me explain it to you. So yeah, go on, I will listen. Okay, so some traveler went around telling people that the Eden is real and the Ammon nation was ready to assault it. Uh, that was quite a surprise, but you know the legends about the Eden. Some of them were about a secret bunker and not about some magical land of heat and happiness. I don't really know what we can achieve, but I was tired of sitting below that damned wind tower and I hope to find something better going uh, here. Maybe they're willing to trade. Maybe they're willing to share the technology. Maybe they're willing to recruit people. I gathered some people who volunteered to follow me here to talk with the people living in the Eden and to reach some sort of agreement. I left with some people coming from the wind tower, mostly young people with no place to live. We just took our stuff and headed here. Then some nomads joined us, decided to come along, hoping to find a better fortune or in maybe a stable, safe place to live. Uh, what exactly are we willing to do? How far can you go? I'm too old to fight. I can't even stand on my feet without my stick. But we can do anything else. Work for the Eden in exchange for anything that could help us get a better life. Yeah, that's the whole thing about the Eden opening its doors to the outside world. Um, yeah, I can promise anything, but I'll, I'll come back if... Uh, no, actually... Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Then I'll come back here if I have some news. Thank you. I hope you'll bring some good news the next time you'll, we'll see each other. Well, I guess it's time to go. I hope to see you soon, old chap. Me too. Good luck. You will need it. Well, maybe we will all need it. So that is... That wasn't the white people. So the white people are... Should be this one? Yeah, these ones? Yeah. So let me see, let me check my journal. So, still have the wolf pack to deal with, but uh, I'm gonna wait a, a bit more until I do that. Um, then uh, report back to Vernon and visit the mercenary camp. That's the one. Okay, let's go back here. And food is a concern, as always. As always, food is a concern. There's no place to hunt. Although, is that a place to hunt? I don't know. Uh, mercenaries camp. Talk, talk to the mercenaries leader. Two guards watch over Morgan's tent. They tell you come inside. Uh, they tell you to come inside alone. What you see is Morgan sitting behind a desk with a local map on it. Come in, come in. Why do I suspect that your visit has something to do with the operation I set up? We know about the Eden. It's it's been two years since I first knew about it, and I didn't stop searching for it. Like it or not, we're going to take this place. The Eden's people may have some nice high-tech weapons, but we're plenty and we, uh, we will fight until death to conquer the Eden. And you? What will you do? He smiles and takes a sip from, his, from a liquor bottle. You are one of them, but also one of us, the outsiders, the one that needs to face everyday's dangers. 
Aren't you tired of that? Don't you want to finally control your life? To stop being someone else's bitch? Join me and you will be my second in command. Help me take the Eden and we will rule it together. This is the chance you waited for your entire life. The chance you finally con to finally control your own life. So what do you need from me? Nothing too complicated. For now. I guess you're here to take a look at my men or our weapons just to report back to whoever has the power inside the bunker. If you wanna help us, just lie about it. Just, just, oh, if you wanna help us, just lie about us. Tell them that we are no threat uh, to the Eden's incredible defenses. That, that should give us some advantage. Huh. Uh, I'm not too sure I wanna help this guy, but maybe uh, my my thinking is, what is the way of opening the Eden's door to the outside? Should I go for somebody's? Should I go for this? Guy? Should I help these guys to take over the Eden and maybe they will help the outside? But then again, they don't, they're not really that open in the ammunition, so I don't think that's gonna turn out for the better. Um. Yeah, man, you'll never win the battle. You have no chance. We have explosives, we have guns, we have soldiers. I can think of any scenario where I fail. But I can tell you one, you are repeating these two words. We have, we have, we have. So that tells me you're full of it. That tells me, yeah, the place is rock solid. You'll never be able to break down the defenses. Well, not according to the information I in our possession. We just happened to take it from a dweller of the Eden we captured not too long ago. So, if you're not willing to help me in this thing, you better go away, I have no time to waste. Um... So, yeah, I'll think about your offer. Yeah, sure, but we aren't going to wait here forever, so you must make a decision as soon as possible. And the right decision is not to stand in my path. Go away and don't bother me to, or to come- don't bother to come back unless you're willing to join us. We'll win this fight, with or without you. Mmm. I'm not sure how that's gonna go for him or for me. Uh, but it, my problem right now is food. That is a big problem right now. By the way, let's have a, a chat with um, Jan. We, we didn't speak with her uh, last time out. So how can I help you? What can you tell me about your own, what you, about you and your past? Ah, uh, it's nothing special. I was a survivor like you until I found the white people and joined them. From that moment on, this world wasn't as terrible, a terrible, a terrible place anymore. It's easier to survive this way, so easy you can even live a decent life. I know it's hard to believe, but you can see your own uh, you can see with your own eyes. The cold, what keeps you worried all day, is not a problem for me, not anymore. Hmm. Can you tell me more about the white people? A bunch of people, like many I'd say, except for this white ink with uh, which we get tattooed. It's warm and keeps us alive, makes us able to survive. There are plenty of religious fanatics among the white people. They say we're blessed and our tattoos are a gift from Mother Nature. I just think something happened to make this white thing a reality. Someone saw it and found a way to make a good use of it. No magic involved. But despite the religious belief, the white people can actually build a new civilization, forgetting about the old ways and building new ones. So what do you think about the Eden? <laughs> a desperate attempt to allow the ancient civilization to survive? An attempt doomed to fail, no matter what you or others will do. I can see how the promise of a better life could be tempting, or how the place may be a symbol of hope, but it won't last. Not forever. The ancient civilization is no more, and a single preserved relic of it won't be able to restore the world that is no more. Earth has changed, and we must change with it, or slowly walk towards extinction. A new mankind must rise, a mankind fit for survival, meant to last in the frozen world. Yeah, that's it for now, Jen. You know where to find me. Yeah, I do. But anyway, let's go back to the Eden because I guess these guys... Is this gonna be the final? No, not the final countdown. The final showdown. I don't know. I still have to deal with the wolf pack. Kinda wanted to do that before I die. Or before I finish the game. I don't know how long the, the game is gonna go for, but uh, it's getting... It's getting a bit on. Uh, from what I know. Okay, let's talk with Eveline. Let's talk with these guys and see if they have anything... Uh, else to tell me also uh, nah I don't think I don't think they do uh, nah, 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 nah. okay some questions um nah nah so yeah I'll go now I'll go speak with Vernon 
You stand in front of Vernon's office. Yeah, let's knock on the door. You enter into Vernon's clean and tidy office. And he doesn't even bother looking at me. I hope you have an important reason to come here. I'm not in the mood for small talk. You're never in the mood for small talk, man. You're never in the mood for small talk. Uh, so... Yeah, I, I'm here to report about the outsiders. Good, I want to know every important detail. We need to face this issue with intelligence. We can't afford a war and the damage it could bring to our home. Yeah, there's a... this. I, I visit the mercenaries and talked with their leader. They are clearly the highest threat of the, of the, to the safety of Eden. I want to know everything about them. We need to prepare to defend our home at any cost. Well, they're many and dangerous. They have enough men to pose a serious threat to our defenses and they won't stand back. The war is unavoidable right now. Interesting. What about the other group? We may defeat the mercenaries, but we can't let them gather allies. What about the other threats? I, guess I need a good overview of the situation to be able to think about a decent plan. Well... I... Uh, I have nothing more. I... Yeah, I have nothing more. Then you should take your stuff and get back out there. We don't have time to waste. Okay, so... Sorry. I have something more! I have something more! Uh, yeah, uh, so I, I'm here to report about the outsiders. Yeah, uh, yeah, there's there's this delegation of people out there that come from a nearby settlement. That one seems peaceful, but we can't know where their desperation will drive them. We can't allow any alliance between them or the mercenaries. Well, they want to deal with the, with the Eden. They came here with the peaceful intentions. I hope you told them that this is the worst moment to show up for something like that. At least they're not willing to attack our home, that's something. What about the other threats? I need a good overview of the situation to be able to think about a decent uh, plan. Well, I have nothing more. Yep. Okay, so apparently there's more. Where? There's so many... Oh, back... What? What's that? Oh, it's the white people. The white people are down there. How the hell did I miss that? Okay. That is troubling, but we'll... F okay. So right now my only problem is going to be food. That is my very That's a very very serious problem. So okay, ooh, that's good. Plus 5 food food units. That's not that good. Uh, let's trade with them though. Uh because I need food. Um and we got Oh, there. Yeah. I need I need to hunt. Please let me hunt. What the hell? What the hell won't you let me hunt? Let me hunt. Seriously? You're not gonna let me hunt? Come on! Look at our food meter! Why? There it is, there it is, okay. Let's um, carefully scavenge the area. Hunt for bow, for boars. Shoot a boar. I'm gonna take 22 meat. That's fairly decent. Not perfect though. Not perfect. But we'll see if there's. There is another scavenging opportunity. I'll take my time, use those. This guy and 17 okay so we're a little bit better off not not perfect though not perfect okay so oh that, that was, this there it is there it is so let's take our time kill the wolves kill the wolves and take the food okay okay we're, we're a bit better off that's fine that's fine let me scavenge this area use a rope and I got some stuff and I got one fuel and three medicine that's fine uh, so, can I hunt back here? I can, somehow. Uh, so let's hunt, shoot, there it is. Okay, good. So, the temple. Go into the common hall, or visit the inner temple. I'm not gonna win. Nah, let's go to the common hall first. You enter into a big underground hall. Oh man. Full of paintings on the walls. There are a few people here. It seems like it's some sort of inn to the white people. Talk to the man sitting alone at the side of the hall. Hi, man. The man seems to be at least 30 years old. He seems sad and he's drinking some alcoholic beverage from a wooden cup. What do you want, travelers? Oh, what's the matter, man? The matter? The matter is that the love of my life has been killed by some raiders. I don't even have a little memento of my love. I wanted to go back to search for something, even a necklace, but I just don't go where everything happened. I just can't go where everything happened. Now I'm here, drinking until my I pass out. 
Then I'll start again tomorrow. They took everything away from me. I have no reason to leave anymore. Do you need any help with the matter? Are you willing to travel to a place where everything happened to the place where everything happened and try to find something that belonged to my beloved one? I don't have much to offer as a reward, but I could vouch for you if you're willing to join us. And I can give you a gun I found some time ago. It looks nice, but we don't use such things. The man takes a map and shows you where he, uh, he was at attacked. Here, right here. I hope you will be able to find something. I wouldn't bring my beloved back. It won't be bring my beloved back, but at least I'll have something to look at, uh, at in my darkest moments. Sure, I will help you. Don't worry. You see a trace of solace on the man's face. Will you? Thank you. I can do that myself. Thank you very much. Good luck with that kind stranger. Two girls? Approach the two talking girls. What the? Two talking girls? That's a weird way to put it. Please, stranger, leave us alone. We have important manners, matters to discuss. She's pretty. Don't take it wrong. I, it's just private stuff that we'd rather keep between ourselves. Fine, I'll leave you alone. Uh, so talk to the Hallmaster. Hallmaster? Man, that's a nice title right there. Uh, a middle-aged tattoo man greets you with a nod of his head. Hello, Tra how the hell do you nod anything else except for your head? Don't you? Is that... I mean, nod of his head? Okay. Hello, traveler. What can I do for you? Is there something that you need? Yeah, I'd like to trade. I have plenty of stuff that I want to sell. And I kind of... Yep. Okay, so I'm going to deal with this. Uh, so I'm going I'm to keep all of this, though. And uh, this emmer... I, nope, I'm going to sell that. I got a shovel. Got a couple of shovels, actually. That's perfect. I want to buy some food, though. Do you buy... Do you sell food? You do. Good. So let's buy that. Oh, it's actually pretty inexpensive. That's perfect. I'm gonna buy a bunch of food because I kind of I'm kind of tired of going around hunting all the time. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Let's deal with that. Yeah, good. So now weapons. I have this, which is actually not that bad. But I have this, which is actually not that bad. I have this. I have that one equipped already. A crude bow. I'm gonna deal with this. I'm gonna deal this one or, or sell that one anyway. Uh, let's sell this. Uh, keep that. Let's sell this ring. No, let's not sell that ring because I might need it in the future. Uh, doubtful, doubtful, but even still, I might want to keep it. This first, I'm gonna sell all of these. The soap as well. No, ain't nobody got time for bath. And uh, I'm gonna sell that. And uh, let's see. So that is that, huh? That is that. <clears throat> what about him? What does he have? Um. Uh, Nothing terrible, nothing great either. I mean, he has plenty of terrible stuff, but yeah, that's cool. He has some interesting items, but not <clears throat> not anything that I need right now. Uh, 2,000 bullets? Is that like the maximum I can have? It isn't. Good. So it just... It was just a coincidence that... uh. I happen to have 2,000 bullets right there. Okay, so you enter in the inner temple, a massive underground hall that's illuminated by the same white substance that the white people tattoo on their skin. A woman with strange headgear and a wooden rod approaches you. Welcome to the inner temple, travelers. And welcome back to you, Genev. I'm glad to see that you brought the strangers with you. We will show them how the world looks through our eyes. Let's just keep them away from most fanatics, priests, master. I don't want them to think that we're just a bunch of crazy lunatics. I can understand how most zealous among us can be insistent, but at least they understand how princip our principles of non-violence. But let's not let's forget about this trivial matter and let's give a proper welcome to the guests you brought to our most sacred temple. I am the White Master. That is the name of mo the Mother gave me that is the name the mother gave me when i accepted a call as first of her priests of her priestesses maybe anyway my whole name my old self those things are no longer but please feel free to talk to me i'm sure you must be also full of questions and thoughts about what you see around you well i uh yeah i'd like to know why well, i know why i'm here I, I want to know what's your, what your intentions are again. I mean, regarding the Eden. i like to know why do you want me to come here. Let's say that we, the white people, travel a lot around the Vale and even outside of it. We quickly discovered about the existence of Eden, a relic of the past. 
way of life that we are trying to reject. We believe that the ancients were punished for their sins, and therefore we must abandon their ways if we want to survive. So you want to walk around like upside down? That's, I mean, that's one way of abandoning the, the ancient ways, right? Or maybe you want to wear your pants on your head. How about that, huh? Nah, sorry. Anyway, nature, our mother, gave us a gift to survive in this new cold world. And with this gift, we no longer need to stick to the sinful ancient ways to survive. We can create new ways, honorable ways. We won't attack the Eden. We're not savages. We don't, we don't value human life. But we don't want Eden's influence to spread either. That's why I wanted you to come here. Let me talk to you about our ways, our beliefs, our knowledge. I'll show you why the ancient world must be forgotten in order to achieve a superior state of being. So, I will listen. Okay. I will tell you the story of the white people. More than 50 years ago, a man discovered this cave and the blessed fluid that allows us to survive in this frozen world. He understood that sinful conduct led the ancients to the apocalypse and brought the great cold upon us. But he also understood that nature, our mother, provided us a way to survive. The ancients exploited nature while they should have lived following her rules and respecting her. But from that day, that man was known as the prophet, as he saw the truth and devoted himself to sharing this truth with the others. He showed us how to live by the rules of nature and how to survive in this frozen world. He taught us a new way to live our lives. That's why the Eden and what it represents must be forgotten. Our mother won't allow mankind to abuse her just like she didn't allow the ancients to keep destroying her garden. I know it may sound crazy to you, but think about it. The ancients were unable to survive to the apocalypse and their civilization collapsed. We are. And while you're trying to recover something that is already lost forever, we're creating the foundations of a new, better human civilization. Just think about it. I can't accept that uh, I can't expect you to accept it right now, but if you will think about it and you will see the truth behind my words. Okay, so let's let's give it a shot, shall we? I I I mean, I'm all for different belief systems and whatever people like to think and I I respect that kind of belief. And right now I I'm willing to Give it a shot. The sh okay, I mean, I'm willing to give it a shot. But the thing is that her whole point is around Mother Nature as a um, an entity that uh, acts or reacts at least. Uh, and while that has been done plenty of times already in our own world, not not even uh, in icy, you can look at multiple religions and and uh, belief systems that. Uh, uh, that uh, are based around the notion that Mother Nature is an entity that um, affects our world and, and that has a will, maybe, or whatever. But that's not the thing, that's not the problem. I'm, uh, whatever, it's just religion, I'm fine with that. But um, my problem is Mother Nature wasn't responsible for the end of um, the world in Icy, as far as I'm aware, at least. So if it was a nuclear holocaust, or even if doesn't it, you know if you're if you're not aware of it, um, basically I think this is a nuclear winter or something like that. But a nuclear winter, as far as I'm aware, uh, is not created by necessarily by nuclear bombs. Does it doesn't need to be that? The problem is the wall um, that there's so much fire, there's so much explosions, and so much. Um, greenhouse gases, or not greenhouse, but uh, uh, there's so much gas, gas and, and pollutants in the air um, after a, a massive nuclear war. Then it could be like it couldn't. Maybe it's not even a war or nuclear war. It could be like um, a meteor hitting Earth, and and if it just spreads fire all over the planet, we will have a nuclear winter because the sun is not going to be able to get through our atmosphere because of all the gases that are up there that are released by the fires and all that. So that's most that's probably the reason why why we're here. We can't be certain that it was a nuclear war, but it certainly wasn't nature. Because even in, in the ice ages uh, that we had, for example, a thousand, a hundred thousand years ago, we had uh, the last ice age, if, as far as I'm, no, maybe it was later. Yeah, the last ice age has been a, a little bit weird compared to the other ice ages because it has been 
uh, separated by phases, but whatever. Nature, even ice ages, ice ages are not responsible for this sort of fr freeze, this, this sort of winter, this sort of permanent winter. It's not like that. Ice ages are actually pretty mild compared to, <laughs> to what this is. So it's not nature. It's just I, I can respect her beliefs and I can respect her selective memory of sorts. Like, I will abandon the old ways. We won't use cell phones anymore. Never mind about our spears, because that was also the old ways. We'll still use spears to hunt and whatever. But okay, that's selective um, reasoning of her. That's totally fine. But, but yeah, I just. Yeah, it's all crap. <laughs> so sorry about going on a bit of a rant a little bit, but then that's not really a rant. It's. More of like a dissertation of sorts, and I'm, I'm full of it. Don't pay attention to me, don't quote me on anything, because it's just my opinions, I, t I tell it how I see it, but I, I'm not an expert in anything, so it's not really... Um, I, I'm not taking this all that too serious, so you shouldn't either, but anyway. Um, it sounds a little strange, let's see, there's a wisdom in your beliefs, and I would be interesting to learn about them. Not, uh, I'm sorry, but I'm not interested in living like this. You're free to do what you want. But I am also, that's pretty reasonable right there. What do you want me to do? What are you asking exactly? Yeah, let's go with this one. I'm sorry, but I'm not I'm not interested in living like this. You're free to do what you want, but so am I. Oh, that is fine. I only wanted to tell you about us. Maybe in time we will come to our side. Maybe not. Ask Genev, she's a wise one and could help you see the truth behind our philosophy. I will leave you now, hoping that you will soon be able to see the wisdom of our ways. The all is now empty and you can't do anything but walk away. Okay. I, I, I can't do anything else but walk away. Let's see if somebody else will speak with them. Maybe the two girls are gonna... Nah, they're not really that interested in speaking with us. She's fine, it's fine. It's got the hat. So, you know, the hat that I uh, talked about before. Let's see if Jeanette has something else to tell me. Probably not. Of course not. Of course not. So this that was just okay. So we scouted this area. Oh, we need to go back there. Okay, uh, let's go there because we have a quest. So where the hell am I? Oh, there it is. There I am. Let's go. Let's go. But I think I'm gonna cut the episode right here. Actually, I'm just gonna scavenge this this place here. Uh, take two hours. Ooh. Let's use a torch. Uh, let's use fuel. I need fuel though. I got two fuel. That's fine that's totally fine let's hunt as well uh, because I might as well let's risk it I don't really see how it affects the amount of time you take but uh okay that's fine but anyway I am gonna cut the episode right here I'm Colonel RPG and this has been icy I really hope you've enjoyed it and if you did feel free to leave a comment like the video but above all thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next episode bye bye